Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am doing another packing video because I'm going to Japan tomorrow. So I explained in another vlog already why I'm going back to Japan so soon. So I'm not going to explain this video. But I'm going to Osaka this time and I'm going for a bit longer. So because of that, I decided to bring my bigger suitcase. Now last time when I went to Japan, I bought a really small suitcase along with me. And I pretty much filled it up with a lot of stuff. This time around, I am spending an extra five days uh, in Osaka. And I'll have spare time to um, maybe go shop for a bit, uh, buy some souvenirs for friends because a few friends requested me to buy stuff for them. I want to buy some stuff for our apartment. And yeah, just pretty much have some space to buy other miscellaneous stuff that I would want to bring back. So yeah, I'm bringing my um, usual big white suitcase with me. I'm going to check the weather to see what it's like. Usually before I travel, I check the weather um, and I'll pack according to the weather. So right now in Osaka, tomorrow's going to be top of 12 degrees and lowest 5. Then 14, 13, 16, 15, 11, 16. So, um, I mean it's cold but it's not that cold. I feel this time I can get away with wearing like dresses and stuff like that because it is getting a bit warmer. First off, I am going to pack my uh, coat which I just got dry cleaned the other day because it was like super dirty. Now this coat, a lot of people ask me where I got this coat from. This is from Cecile McBee and it is a Japanese brand. I bought it like in an outlet I remember which is why you can't really get it anymore but I'm sure you can find stuff similar to this but yeah it was like super dirty so I got it dry cleaned in Australia the other day so I'm gonna bring that along with me um, so I will wear that on the plane because it's just easier that way I'm gonna bring this Pikachu jacket because I haven't worn it yet and I can take some cute photos of this I might bring this one just because I don't have any photos of this jacket yet so um, the reason why I like to pack different outfits is that I want to take different photos every day um, at the locations I'm going because these trips like usually it's a lot of sightseeing which means really great chances for photo opportunities so I want to wear different clothing items when I take those photos. I'm gonna try pack different clothes to what I packed last time so let's go through my box of winter clothes. So this is my box of winter stuff. Oh, I didn't bring any of these last time. I might bring this Pikachu um, jumper because it is very warm and comfortable. I can wear this um, on days where I'm spending time with my host family. I'm gonna bring ooh, this one. I haven't worn this one yet. I'm gonna bring this turtleneck knit. This fluffy sweater I bought last time to my trip to Akita, but I actually didn't get any photos in this, so I'm gonna bring this one again, and it's also very comfortable. This brown knit sweater is also very comfortable, I'm gonna bring this again. So this time around, I am staying for almost 10 days, so ideally I want to pack a little bit more, but I think actually five sweaters is plenty. I might bring some dresses along with me. So dresses don't take as much room, so I can pack a few more with me. I think I'm going to pack this one spo dress I bought last time when I was in Japan because I love it. And then I'm going to pack this long dress sweater. So these don't take up too much room, so that's good. Then I'm also going to pack these two belts from one spo. Now for bottoms, I just bought all my pairs of jeans pretty much. So I'm going to bring the white jeans again. Let's see, are these the unicolor ones? Uh, yes, unicolor jeans, my favorites. Okay, for accessories, I'm going to bring maybe this beret and this beanie. And then for scarves, so I bought these two last time. I think I'm going to bring this one. And then I might bring the Liz Lisa one again, so these two. Right, for clothes, I think I've got enough now. You might be wondering why I'm packing so much. And once again, this is a business trip, which means that I don't have time at the start to shop around for new clothes. So I'm just going to bring the clothes that I've already got and clothes that I like. So um, I can take some really nice photos in them. And on the days that I have off, after the um, whole business thing is done, I can just rewear the sweaters, so I'm only going to bring five of them. And then I've got two dresses, and I may or may not wear them. It really depends on what the weather is like over there. I might bring a skirt with me as well, because you never know, some days might be okay to wear a skirt. So let me pick one. I think this color would be really cute to wear, so I'm going to bring this skirt along with me. So for clothes, I'm done for now. I also packed a bunch of chocolate for my host families. I bought them some biscuits from Australia because I asked them if there was anything that they wanted in Australia and then they told me, oh, some biscuits and chocolates. So I bought a bunch of the lemon crisps for them. I also got like 
roast almond chocolate so they told me to buy the chocolate with nuts in them that I bought the very first time I came to Osaka but I don't remember which one it was so I decided to buy like every single one that I could find and they can tell me which one it was because I really don't remember also got some shortbread and cream so for clothing that's all I'm gonna pack um, I'm gonna pack some skincare so let me show you guys what I'm gonna pack for that it's actually getting really hot right now so it's summer in Australia and in Japan it's winter so I'm surprised I didn't get sick for the past few trips so I've been flying back and forth from Japan and Australia and because of the extreme weather differences usually I would get sick but luckily I've been pretty good I'm gonna bring my heat pack so I bought a bunch of these when I was in Japan last time and I'm just gonna reuse these so let's bring them all over to Japan again I this skincare set over last time and it worked really well for me so let me show you guys I bought the Kosei Sekisei White Washing Foam, Moisture Collagen Edged House Toner, Emulsion, and the Moisturizer. And what I do is that I just take the um, original size and I just pretty much scoop it in. Other than that, I think I am good for skincare because when I travel, I try to pack light for skincare, and this is plenty because. I was in Japan for like five days and my skin held up really well. This time I got a massive pimple here. You guys can tell. Um, I probably shouldn't have popped it. I always have a really bad habit of popping my pimples. So because of that, actually, I'm going to bring the, um, you know, the stickers. What's it called? This one here. I'm going to bring a bunch of these. Also, I'm going to bring a bunch of sheet masks with me. So let's just grab like five. Just because it is going to be um, winter, my skin gets very dry during the winter there, so I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring five sheet masks. Alright, I think I'm good for clothing and skincare. Alright, for electronics, I always bring this with me, so I'm not gonna bring my Lumix camera, so I don't need this for now. But I am going to bring my two Canon cameras, so I will need these two chargers. Also got my iPhone charger, and I think I am good, yeah. Just have to bring these but I need to charge my stuff tonight so I'll leave that there tonight So I've got all my clothes inside my bag. Now I'm going to show you guys what other stuff I've packed. So first off, let me show you guys what's in my makeup bag. So this is a bag from Cecilia McBee. I got this from a Fukubukuro, which is a lucky pack at the start of the year. And I really like this bag because it's huge. It fits in so many items. Now the items I'm bringing along with me on this trip. Let me just get them out for you. So all the makeup I'm taking with me, it's a lot more than what I uh, would need but just in case I want to do different makeup looks, stuff like that, that's why I bought all these with me. So yeah, since it all fits in my bag, there's no issues with bringing a lot of makeup because I don't plan to buy any makeup whilst I'm in Japan anyway. So I got the VDL uh, Lumilea Primer, love this product. Foundation, I'm bringing this one, this is the Healthy Blossom Ample BB from Labiote. And I'm also going to bring the Misha Magic Cushion Moisture, the Pokemon version. For concealer, I'm going to bring one from the Sam. And Innisfree, no sebum mineral packed. This is going to be like my powder to set my foundations. I'm also going to take the 3D face cover stick from W Lab. And I really like this, especially on days where I just want a natural look. I just apply it around like my red areas and it works really good for that. Also going to bring a new sponge and just a puff to uh, blend out my foundations and then I'm taking these three with me and this is a blush, bronzer and highlighter. I showed these in my previous videos. What I like about it is that you've got the product on this side, other side it's a brush so you don't have to bring brushes with you. Very handy for traveling, love them. And then I've got ooh, the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's such a small packaging, it's so convenient to bring with you. Uh, Shu Urumura Eyelash Curler, Edged House Curl Fix Mascara, also got the Edged House Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I decided to bring some glitters with me, so this is Edged House Wonder Fun Park Glitter Pigment, the Holika Holika Red Lies Eye Metal Glitter, and then the um, Edged House Teardrop Liner. So that's the glitters I got. 
Then for lips, I decided to bring the Paris Ink Velvet Secret Key Lipstick. This is a dual lipstick. Style Nanda, and this is in 115 Mus. Peri Peris Airy Ink Velvet. And for eyeliner, I'm going to take the Heroin Make Eyeliner with me. For eyeshadows, I'm going to bring the 3CE. This is a multi-eye color palette in Plot Twist. So that can fit inside my bag. Now... I land in Japan at night time tomorrow. I'm leaving in the morning, so I don't plan to put on any makeup. So this is going to go into my suitcase. As usual, I'm going to take my Too Faced Peach Palette and two brushes with me. I'm going to bring some cleansing wipes with me. So I'm going to bring the Etude House Baking Powder Pore Cleansing Tissue. Like I'm kind of running out as well. So I'm going to bring the Innisfree Olive Real Cleansing Tissue because I've been half using both of these. So these will be perfect. And actually, I've got a lot of makeup on now. So how about... I just take one out and use it now to get rid of my makeup. Alright, I think I've removed most of my makeup. I'm going to cleanse my face afterwards anyway, so that is fine. Now, I've got a small bag full of hair stuff, so let me show you guys what I got in here. I bought some shampoo and conditioner. I just rather use my own because usually in hotels, they don't provide really good ones. So I use my own for that. It's a must-have for me. This is the Nature Republic Argan Essential Deep Care Hair Pack. Must use it because my hair is so dry without it. So it's got quite a bit left, so that's fine. Now this one is something that I bought when I was in Japan last time, and this is a SIM card. Now usually when I arrive in Japan, I don't have a SIM card, so I have to go buy it. And it's pretty expensive at the airport. So because of that, when I was in Japan last week, I thought it'd be good to save a bit of money and buy a spare SIM card for when I go back to Japan this time. So I got one that is 2 gigs for 3 months. Um, I'm only there for 10 days, so 2 gigs should be more than enough. I might go buy another SIM card or two when I go back to Japan again this time. Maybe just because when I go back next time, it might be more convenient for me. So I don't have to like you know worry about getting Wi-Fi when I land and stuff like that. So I got that. And for now, I think that is all I'm going to pack. Um into my suitcase. The rest of the stuff I'm going to pack is all going to be in hand carry but it's just going to be stuff like my laptop, my cameras, my chargers, my hard drives and glasses, passport. Yeah, I think I'm good. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here because I really need to try and get some rest and sleep so I will see you guys in tomorrow's video where I am going to Osaka so hopefully you guys look forward to that video. I'll see you then. Bye! Love you like I do